Hey guys, it's Wilson here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a report and the study that I've done. I basically interviewed all the successful restaurants in Vancouver to compile the six traits of the most successful restauranteurs. So then that way you can learn from them. So then that way you can have people line up out your doors and that way you can have business that is thriving, that you can start taking out the people you love and travel whenever you want to, because that's ultimately what I'm in it for. So without further ado, let's dive right in. The first trait that all the restauranteurs that I've interviewed possess is their ability to know their numbers. Knowing the numbers of how much their cogs are, how much their laborers are, how much basically their rent is, how much everything is from the spoilage amount to the theft amount, all these numbers, all the margins, they know like the back of their hand because these are the levers to pull in order for them to run a successful business. So if you do not know your numbers, if you think it's dry, unfortunately, you're not gonna have a successful business. So go out there, know your numbers. The second trait that most restauranteurs possess is their ability to manage people, their ability to incentivize them, to motivate them, so then that way they can deliver their vision of the owners. They allow them to actually develop them and also build that camaraderie amongst their team so then that way everyone is pushing each other up and most importantly to allow them to have ownership and accountability for their business i talk a lot more about this in this video make sure you guys if you want to learn more about how to manage people check out this video the third trait of a successful restauranteur is that they understand their customers. They understand their customers and what they're wanting. What is it that they're trying to achieve? They understand the fact that their customers are coming in, wanting to have something healthy, grab and go because they're on their lunch break in downtown Vancouver. So they have something that is easy to go, all compost friendly, all sustainable packaging, and that they can come and grab and go, and that they can order from online, and then they can order from on the phone as well. So then that way, this whole transaction becomes seamless. There's no friction because that's what their customers are wanting. They're the health conscious, and they're looking for efficiency. That's what understanding your customer means. If you're in a position that you do not understand your customers and all you want to do is to serve your customers what you think is good, unfortunately, you're not going to be successful because you're not giving the customers what they want. If you guys find any value in this video, make sure you smash the like button because we spend a lot of time, effort in creating these videos. I want to make sure I create something that you enjoy and that you find valuable. So make sure you smash the like button and if you want to show some support, leave it in the comment section below. The fourth trait is GSD. Get done. That's exactly what we need to have as restauranteurs and as business owners because problems are going to be able to come left, right and center all the time. Every single day we're pulling out our hair, machine breaks down, employee wants to quit, you know, customer is not happy, your chef is not happy with you. All these crazy things that are happening within the restaurant. If you don't have the mentality of getting stuff done all the time and if you're not being creative with your problem solving, then unfortunately restaurant business is not for you and actually for that matter running a business is not for you because you need to make sure that you are solutions orientated you enjoy and you understand that your job is to solve all the problems out there so having this get stuff done mentality is super important if you want to be successful in your restaurant the fifth trait that I see amongst all the successful restauranteurs is the fact that they are master of operations. Even if they're not, they hire people who are masters of operations. Just look at companies like Starbucks, like Panda Express, like McDonald's. They're super effective and they're running thousands of shops because of their operations, because they have hashed out all and every single part of the restaurants and their operations. Even if you're running a single store, it is still super valuable in order for you to be able to run your business like an operation. So then that way you can take yourself away from the solution. You can take your, uh, yourself away from the business. So then that way you can work on the business instead of being in the business. 95% of the restauranteurs out there are always pulling hair when they're just always working in their business, putting out fires left, right, and center. You need to create a system so then that way you are not a necessity piece in this equation. That way you can scale, you can grow, you can travel whenever you want to. As an example, with 720 Suites, our ice cream shop, we created operating procedures right up front so then that way we can start training our staff and in turn it allows us to be able to duplicate that concept within the first three months, which ultimately allows us to actually build more than seven locations and eventually got bought out. 
The last trait that all successful restauranteurs have and possess is their ability and their want to keep learning. A lot of these owners, they're always, always keen in wanting to learn more about what the industries are doing, how they're evolving, what are the, some of the best practices, how they can utilize different technology to in order to speed up their process, to have better logistics, all these crazy things that are happening because they're always a student of life. And in that reality, they're able to create much, much more because they're always learning, because they have this mindset of the fact that they don't know what they don't know. So for you, if you're trying to be able to create your business, know the fact that you don't know anything, go out there, start learning. The two major books that have changed my life and I've talked about it in this video is E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber and 4-Hour Workweek because these basically became my Bible right from the get-go, allows us to be able to have the fundamentals and the systems right off bat. So there you go, the six traits that all successful restauranteurs possess. Number one is to know your numbers. Know your numbers so that way you understand where you're bleeding, which levers to pull in order for you to have more profits in your pocket. Second trait is to manage your people. Manage your people so then that way you have people to run your business for you and have the people feel incentivized to have that accountability. That way you can travel whenever you want to. Trait number three is to understand your customers. Understand exactly what they want, give them exactly what they want and what they need, not what you want to provide them. Trait number four is GSD, get stuff done mentality. You need to be able to have the mentality to problem solve anytime, every time, and every single time. Because at the end of the day, that's your job to solve problems. Trait number five, master of operations. Understand every single process in your operation, in your business, can be defined with a manual. So in that way you can duplicate that concept, duplicate that concept, many, many different stores, just like Starbucks, just like McDonald's, just like Panda Express. The final trait is to always be a student of life. Start learning, continue to learn, and never ever stop seeking for help and knowledge. So there you go, the six traits that all successful entrepreneurs and restauranteurs that I've interviewed possess. If you wanna be, be able to build a successful restaurant, make sure you guys start working on these traits or find people who are good at these traits in order for them to be on your team. If you want any other resources in building your restaurant, make sure you check it out in the link below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I wanna be there to support you on your journey. So make sure you guys subscribe along the journey Leave me a like to show some support. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.